Hey guys, it's Sebastian Gordon from thegiftygeeks.com and today I will be doing a stay and play in video. So, the stay and play in series is a bunch of kids from around the world that go and make boredom busters for you to do at your very own house. So, let's get into my boredom buster. For this stay and play in project, we will be making a rubber band powered car. So, first the supplies. The things you'll need for this project are a roll of masking tape, a cardboard tube, two pencils for the axles, four CDs for the wheels, rubber bands to power the car, a hot glue gun, a paper clip, and last but not least, scissors. The first step will be making the holes for the pencils to go through. You want to make your holes about one inch from either end of the tube. If you want, you can use a hole puncher. Use that if that's possible because it's safer. Otherwise, get a parent to help you make the holes. I'm using these scissors because they were dull. Next, you want to take your paper clip and twist it inside the holes to enlarge them because you want your axles to move freely. Put your pencil slash axles through the holes. Your third step is to put masking tape where you think the wheel slash CD card should be placed on the axle. Make sure that you leave some space in between the masking tape and the cardboard tube because you want it to move freely. After you finish putting enough tape on so that the CD wheels fit snug and won't just fall off, wiggle use your CD card onto the tape. Now repeat these steps for each of your wheels until all four wheels are done. Good job! If you want, you can add hot glue to make the wheels more secure so that they won't fall off. This next step involves making a rubber band chain. Using your rubber band in a paper clip, loop each rubber band as shown in the video. Attach the paper clip onto the rubber band chain. The paper clip will act as a weight. Next, drop the rubber band down into the tube, the paper clip in first. Then loop it around the pencil and tie a knot. Make sure that there's still a lot of elastic band left. After tying the knot, let the paper clip draw back through the tube. On the other side of the tube, cut two slits into the edge and hook the elastic bands through the slit. Your elastic band will power your car. When you turn the wheel where the knot is fixed, the 
This recoils the elastic band. Energy is stored here. When you let go of the car, you'll see the car drive forward. If the rubber band is not sticking to the pencil, add the mock glue to the knot and pencil to secure it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hoped you liked making this rubber band powered car, because I know why I did. To see more of these boredom busters, please go to the hashtag Stand and Play and YouTube channel. And to see more of my YouTube videos, go to the Gifted Geeks also on YouTube. So, I hope you liked this video. Sebastian from thegiftedgeeks.com, out.